Welcome to this edition of OpenSCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, what I wanted to do was uh, share this uh, power supply cover, uh, which I've designed up in OpenSCAD. And I'm actually going to put this out on Thingiverse as a customizer object. Uh, the concept is, is this uh, goes over both of the ends, and maybe I can explain it a little bit better with where I borrowed the idea on Thingiverse. So. I've got a tarantula 3D printer and I wanted to create um, uh, end covers for my power supply. So I went to Thingiverse and there's a number of them out there. However, my power supply seems to be a little bit different and I'm sure that, you know the makers of tarantula, whatever the cheapest power supply is they can get it that day is what comes with it, was different than you know what some of the other ones were. Then I found this one, and uh, this was actually a very good idea, and, and that's why I wanted to reference uh, this gentleman. However, he Oleus, something like that. But anyways, the concept is, is you print this out. He has done this in Open SCAD, and it just slides over each end, so you have a front and a back. It looks aesthetically very nice. The only thing I didn't like was, um, and you really can't see it here. The opening is just for a switch and like a plug in it it's very nondescript but what i wanted to do was i wanted to use one of these uh where you have you know a switch you have a fuse and then you have the plug and it's one module uh but one of the things to note is these fingers over here in in the um, block itself are designed to be received by like a, a 1 inch inch uh, sheet metal casing and so I had some design challenges with this I, I want to talk about once, once we get to the open SCAD code, so kind of keep that in mind. So as we look at this, we have the opening here for that power block we just saw, and then we have opening here for our power out. In this case, what I'm using is, is a set of banana jacks, and we'll see those in the end product uh, when I show those after I print it. Uh, what I've also done is built in the ability to apply some logic here for different types of openings so if you just want a single grommeted opening or you want to run two sets of banana jacks you just simply select the number and open as cat does the magic one of the pointers that i'll share here is, is doing this gets a little bit wieldy uh, or unwieldy because here's the decision tree for uh, those um, those hole openings and one of the things you can see here is the translates get rather complex and what I did is to help me here is I, I divided up in the, the plane, uh, the face plane of this into you know four quadrants and then divided those up from there. So this is kind of how I got to all this translation, if you will. Uh, and it actually worked out pretty good because it, it took me a little bit to get my mind around that. Um, the other thing is, one, one of the pieces you might be wondering why I didn't center this. Well, down here at the bottom on most power supplies is the terminal strip. And what I didn't want happening is the back of this, because if we, if we look, and I'm not sure if we can get to the back, you can see the back of it here. Um, there's clips and wires and everything that come out of this. So I didn't want those to impede upon the terminal strip, so I, I move this up. So something to think about when you're in the design phase of your project. Um, and again, the hole in this piece, I just knocked this out because, you know, why waste the plastic? This is the top piece, uh, or the opposite end piece is more for aesthetics. Now I also did add feet uh, to the design, and, and it's probably worth mentioning is I've rewritten probably 95 to 98 percent of the code I did reuse some of his values and some of his basic logic, but everything else is, has been actually rewritten. But I just wanted to kind of credit him uh, for the idea. Um, the other piece that I thought was really interesting about this design that I didn't, I haven't run into yet in the past is notice that this internal block we have. So as I was mentioning before when I was sharing the power block design, I had to beef this up to, to provide support for that block since those fingers don't have anything to grab onto it has to be supported so what I did is build build this block but to do this block I had to build uh, a first and second order difference union and join uh, because the problem I was running into is if I if we look at this if just kind of highlight this piece 
So when I went to create this originally in the original set of joins and unions and differences, this cube, which I used to hollow out, the master cube, uh, chewed up this piece. It actually differenced it out. So I had to create two different orders. So to keep track of those, I considered one a first order difference and one a second order difference. And you see here, I, I show it ending second order difference or second difference. And the concept here is, is again, I'm creating two basic units and then rejoining them together. So I have this greater outside unit, if you will, and then I have this smaller inside unit. So that was a little bit uh, interesting because when I created the inner object, it kept like disappearing and I'm like, this can't be. And then I got thinking about it and I was saying, well, okay, this, this subtracting the difference here was actually removing the entire thing. So anyways that i think that was a a pretty good point so i've also set up the pieces here i won't go into all the details of how i've arranged this for to be a customizer on thingiverse however i've got my view set up up here and i've got my different variables and controls set here and i might have to tweak a few of them so i don't want to go into too many details uh, but just know that they're there and again the code will be out on the website too so um be easy for you, for you guys to get at. Uh, with this, I guess let's uh, go take a quick walk, look at the time lapse of it being printed out. This this was a rather long print um, because the specifications that this is going to go up on Thingiverse will be to match these parts. And I'll have links to these parts below because that was the other thing too. There's a number of these on Thingiverse, but nobody has put links or part numbers to the parts. So how do you know what size you're going to get in there, a fixed size? So I wanted to make sure, number one, to allow the sizes to be variable. And number two, for the stock sizes, you know, clearly provide links and part numbers to the parts so you guys can go out there and get the parts and not wonder what size fits. So um with that being said oh yeah because the other piece was yeah it's about a five hour print to print print this so uh they're rather big pieces if you will so anyways in a lot of uh, surface area so let's go watch that again it's not going to take five hours quick time lapse and then we're going to go back to the bench we're going to assemble this thing so you'll see it all together so let's head over there Okay, welcome back. So we took a look at this printing. We took a look at a bit at the code. So here's what the finished product actually looks like. So it came out pretty good, actually. I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this. So uh, here I've chosen the dual banana uh, port jack options. Uh, you can see the, um, the receptacles recessed and pressure fit in here. Uh, slides on here super tight, you know, so it doesn't fall apart. Um, I've coated the inside of this with epoxy, just brushed it on with some quick set epoxy, real thin coat. So I left a little bit of extra room in the design for that um, to give it some extra strength, you know, because again, um, you know, what I found when you do a piece this, this big of, of 3D printed plastic, especially PLA, it wants to pull apart. Um, so anyways, um, hopefully you found this build interesting. Um, and hey, if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be working on a, a fan clip, too, to go on here also. You'll see this pop up probably on Thingiverse and in another video on the OpenSK channel. So, hey, thumbs up, subscribe, see you in the next video. Cheers.